Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm back. To, I am making my taco soup and this is so simple. It's a great anytime meal, but if you're in a rush on a weeknight, this is a great soup for you. So um, I got this recipe from my sister years ago. My sister is an excellent cook, but she's the one that gave me this quick and easy recipe. So let's just go through the ingredients that we need. You're gonna need a pound, well normally you need a pound of ground sirloin, but my store didn't have any, so I went with the extra lean ground beef, which is totally fine. You're also gonna need one onion diced up, so I've already got it diced up here. You're going to need a pack of taco seasoning, and I got the less sodium one, since we're trying to, trying to eat a little healthier. Um, I you need some minced garlic, so we're gonna need about um, one teaspoon or so. I'll put all the instructions in the description below, so don't worry. You're gonna need a can of black beans, and these black beans, I've already drained them. You're going to need a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. You're gonna need 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes and one can of Mexi corn. Now, um, I haven't been eating corn because it's not really on my diet, but since it's going in the soup, I don't think, I think it'll be okay. You're also gonna need a cup of water and some salt and pepper. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to brown your ground beef. And um, let me just make sure I have you where you can see it well enough. So this is just that one pound of my ground beef. And I'm just gonna kind of break it up. Just got my oven on, or my stove on. So I'm gonna just get that and I'm gonna let it sit while it starts to cook. So I'm just gonna give that a minute. Yes, my pan is a very old one, so it works for me though. So once that starts to get going, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the garlic and the onion. So we're gonna give that a second. I'm gonna grab a spoon so I'll be able to dish out my garlic. Okay, so my beef is starting to cook. So as that's starting to, starting to cook, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add in my onion. If you don't wanna add a whole onion, you don't have to, but this is like, this is just a small onion that I diced up. It kind of cooks away. My husband and I, we really don't like um, like raw onions, but we do like a good yellow onion, like in my steak recipe and stuff like that. And this cooks away, so. And then I'm also gonna add in about a teaspoon of my minced garlic. And I'm gonna just let that start to cook and start to brown. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so you see it's starting to, it's about, I don't know, about halfway there. And my onions, they kind of got like not as diced as I would like, but they're gonna cook down, so it's all good. If you don't like that much onion, you don't have to add it. So this is what it's starting to look like. And I don't even salt my beef or anything. My husband and I, we're not the biggest person when it comes to a lot of salt. And so, you know, we're trying to watch what we eat. And so if you wanna salt your beef, go ahead. But the seasoning that I'm gonna put in is gonna take care of all of that. So you won't even really need to worry about it. Um, the recipe does call for a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And so, I don't even like scoop out a teaspoon of salt. I salt shaker mine in because we just don't like too much salt. I like a little bit more pepper than salt. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cook and I'll be back when it's not when it's all cooked down. Okay, so my beef is cooked down. As you see, my beef is all browned. Get back over here. Okay, so my beef is all cooked down, it's all browned. And the onion is starting to turn translucent. The garlic is already cooked into the meat. It's already starting to smell good. 
So now we're just going to add our ingredients. So I'm going to go and I'm going to just dump it all in. I'm adding my beans. Sorry about that, y'all. Again, this is a 15 ounce can of black beans. This is my 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Doesn't matter what brand your choice. And I'm adding my 28 ounce can of the diced tomatoes. This is my, let me see the ounces on here. 11 ounces of my Mexi corn. Now I'm gonna give this a stir. I'll get it all mixed in. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit. And you can hear it, it's sizzling. So I'm gonna get this and see, this is what it's looking like. And now I'm gonna add in my pack of my taco seasoning. If you don't wanna use low sodium, you don't have to. I just chose to. So we would cut down the salt a little bit. So I'm gonna add my taco seasoning and give it a stir. Incorporated. Now I'm going to go in with my maybe a little less than a cup of water. Get that in. See how it's turning on nice and soupy. Now I'm going to add in, and I'm like I said, I'm not a salter like putting a whole teaspoon. I just salt. If you like to measure, go ahead, it's to taste. And I like to use some black pepper. And I'm gonna get this stirred in. And then all you do is you're gonna put the lid on it and you're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes and then you're gonna serve it. That easy. When it's done, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, just checking in. I've got about five or 10 more minutes. I go and look at that. It's so good. And when you pour it in a bowl, you're gonna top it with some cheddar cheese and it's absolutely delicious and very, very hearty. You're gonna love it, y'all. Okay, so I'm about to pull it off the stove. Mr. Crafty just got home. I told him we got a few minutes, so he's ran to jump in the shower. But look at this soup, y'all. The soup is so good, and it's so hearty, and it's delicious. When it gets about to this point, I add a little bit of cheddar cheese sprinkled in my soup, and then I have enough freshly grated cheese to put on the top of my, of my soup as well. Sometimes my husband says, you put too much cheese on top of what he doesn't know is I had added a little bit in here and he loved every bit of it. So that's our secret. Anyway, it's looking good. Looks ready to go. I'm ready to eat. So what are y'all having for dinner tonight? So here's what my soup ended up looking like. It's absolutely delicious. And now let's just get it served up here. This is where your bowl koozies, if you have them, come in handy. When I make soups or anything like this, we always use the bowl koozies. I'm just gonna, let me turn this. So I don't wanna spill here. So I'm gonna get my soup. And look at that. Quick and easy, friends. You can have this done in 30 minutes. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Gonna grab Mr. Crafty's bowl. He came in, he goes, are we having chili? I said, we are having taco soup. Gonna give him that extra scoop. 
Let me grab a napkin because I made a mess. Gonna get this in the bowl koozie. Look at that soup, y'all. And there we go. We have our taco soup. Now we're gonna top it with some fresh cheddar, freshly shredded cheddar cheese. I don't like store-bought shredded, unless it's something I'm cooking a casserole or something and it goes in. I like my cheese freshly grated. What about y'all? You got our soup, you got our cheese. Let me move this away. And then lastly, you can serve this. It's delicious with cornbread. I'm a sucker for cornbread, so I did not cook any because I'm trying not trying to eat good. And look, I got a little soup on my bowl koozie. That's okay because you know what? You can wash your bowl koozies. So, but I am got, I have some saltine crackers. So you can have some saltine crackers with it. Or you can have some Fritos. Fritos are delicious with this soup as well. I'm gonna have a few Fritos and a few crackers because I had to look at the carbs on here and so I'm limiting how many I can eat of these. But y'all, the soup is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Let me get you a little closer. You need to see that up close. Look at that. Let's put these crackers over here. And then we got, see the cheese is stringing down? Y'all, this is one delicious soup. I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. Check the description box below for the recipe and I hope you give it a try and let me know if you do. Let me know how what you think of this delicious, beautiful, yummy, look at that soup. Give it a try, friends. Hope you guys have a great night. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.